Hi friend, I am so happy to see you here. Thank you for downloading the Home and Heart Assessment. I am excited for you because this is really important work. Any self-discovery, self-empowering, self-growth is key to your success in all areas of your life. So congrats to you for taking on this journey and for being here. So I am going to guide you through the assessment that you downloaded, but first I would love to just give you some more details on what this assessment is all about and some tips that you can do to kind of prepare yourself for this assessment and to take it a step further if you want to. So. This assessment is really understanding if your home is supporting your goals, your desires, and your dreams. I believe that your home should support the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. And I also believe that it can and it should help you achieve your goals. So what does this look like? Here are the areas that I think are incredibly important and the three areas are your home, your body, and your mind. And when all of these areas are working together and supporting one another, magic happens. This is where life gets really interesting because you know what you want and all of these areas are, again, they're all helping you achieve your goals. So there's absolutely no way that you're not going to be able to reach them. So here are three steps to align these areas. The first step is to minimize wherever possible. I would suggest setting some time aside to declutter. Maybe you already have and you, you know, are well on your journey of decluttering and getting rid of extra stuff that you don't need. But if you haven't, please set aside some time to do this. It's really important. You learn so much about yourself. You learn what is most important to you, what you love, what you don't love. And also it sharpens your decision-making skills. And if you're like me, you don't really like saying no. For the majority of my life, I was always saying yes. I was such a people pleaser because I just wanted to make people happy. That brings me joy and it still does. But there was a time when I was just saying yes and I was ignoring my own feelings and that's when I kind of got into trouble. So decision-making skills. It is important to learn how and when to say no and minimizing and decluttering is really going to help sharpen that skill. The second step is to tune in to what's feeling good and what's not. Throughout the day, every day, check in with yourself at least two to three times and see just how you're feeling. Ask yourself how you're feeling. Ask yourself what you need at any given moment to feel better, whether it's taking a break when you get tired or frustrated or overwhelmed, anything to just brighten your energy and to get you back in that flow of feeling good is really important. And I suggest keeping a journal, just writing, you know, these things down again, what, what makes you feel great and what makes you feel bad. Um, I also use the notes app on my phone all the time. You can also quickly jot some things down there. The third step, is to write down your goals. You are 42% more likely to achieve your goals just by writing them down. I mean, that is a large percentage and you can practice this every day by, you know, making to-do lists. Like writing out goals, I think sometimes sounds incredibly daunting, at least for me, because it's just like, oh my gosh, like I have to plan out the next year or the next couple years, you know, five, 10 year plan. And I, yeah, that's a little overwhelming. I am not necessarily suggesting that, but if you want to do it, 
go for it. Um, but every day, just writing down, again, your to-do list, your goals for the day is so important. It feels awesome checking things off the to-do list, but again, it's just a great practice to get into because you're, you're gonna achieve your goals, 42% more likely. So, okay, a recap of the three steps to aligning your home, body, and mind are, one, to minimize wherever possible, two, tune in to what's feeling good and what's not, and three, write down your goals. All right, now let's move into the assessment that you downloaded. So if you have it on your computer or if you printed it out, just grab it and uh, make sure that it's close to you so that we can kind of work through this together. The first step in this assessment is to write down a goal for each area, for your home, for your body, and for your mind. So go ahead and pause this video and give yourself some time to write out your goals if you're doing this in real time with me and obviously just push play when you are ready to continue. The second step in this assessment, now that you have at least one goal written down for your home, for your body, and for your mind, is to begin to explore how each area can be supporting the current area that, that you're looking at. So I gave one example in the workbook, in the assessment, so I'm not going to go over that in the video. I'm going to give you a couple more examples. So just know that you do have an additional example in the workbook to look back on if you need a little help or a little inspiration. So here is one example. My goal for my mind, one goal for my mind is I want to be kinder to myself. So how can my home support this goal? One example would be to leave little love notes, little sticky notes on your mirror. This might sound funny, but I swear by this method. For the longest time, I had a sticky note that I placed on my mirror where I got ready every morning and also, you know, got ready for bed at night. So I was seeing this at least two times a day and the sticky note said, I love you and I accept you. Those are incredibly powerful words. If you're like me, you hardly ever told your, your whole, yeah, you hardly ever told yourself that. Is that right? Um, so it's really important to just give yourself some, some self love every day. And this is one example of how your home can help you do this. Your body, how can my body help me support this goal? You can take a break if you're feeling overwhelmed. You can put on a song that makes you feel good if you're feeling stressed out or frustrated. Again, just tuning into your body and just really listening to it and being kind to it. If you want to indulge in something, go ahead and indulge in something. So that is one example of how your home, body, and mind can all be in alignment. And it was a mind goal of being kind to myself. And hopefully this example showed you that my body and my home can support this mind goal. Okay, are you ready for one more example? All right, so for home, let's, let's go to home. My goal is that I want to have an organized closet. Okay, great. How is this going to support my body or how can my body help support this goal of keeping an organized closet? Well, if I pay attention to the clothes that I feel good in when I'm getting dressed, I want to feel amazing because I want to feel confident. I want to step into my inner power and just feel ready to take on the day. 
that's how my body is going to feel in good clothes, right? In an organized closet. Hopefully, I am going to have a closet full of clothes that only make me feel amazing and nothing less. So if I put on a shirt and I'm like feeling okay in it or not feeling good in it, I need to get rid of it right away. So that's one way I am being in tune with my body and it's also supporting my goal of having an organized closet. Once these two things are working together, imagine the peace of mind that I am going to have. Again, it's going to ignite that confidence, that inner power, that feeling strong and ready to take on the day. So those are your two examples. If you have any questions at all, if something isn't making sense or if you're getting stuck, please feel free to email me or reach out on social media and I will definitely get back to you because I don't want this to be confusing. I hope by the end of this workbook, this assessment that you feel good, that you feel strong and empowered because you have so many tools at your disposal. They are all here, whether it's your home, your body, your mind, you have so much power within yourself to make your goals a reality and to be living the kind of life that you want to live. If you want to take this assessment to the next level, here's what you can do. Look at all three areas, look back on the goals you made, look back on how each area is going to support your main goal and discover which one is holding you back the most, which one you need to put the most work into, whether it's again, your home, body and mind. And that's going to give you an even bigger clue of where you should be focusing your energy and it'll just unlock some of the blocks that you may have in one of these areas to begin to work through them and figure out what you need to do to not make this area so hard. So thank you again for being here, for watching this video, for doing this home and heart assessment. And I look forward to seeing you soon. And if you have any questions, leave them below or reach out to me on social media or email me and I will see you soon.